Walking light is not an option for me. It's a must because I suffer with back pain since I was a little girl. And during my journeys in India, Japan, Spain, sometimes I had to use the back transfer service. But after every Camino, I learned something about how little I need. Also, I upgraded a few items from my list. Hello, I'm Erica. I want to show you my packing list for this year. I always have this on me whenever I'm walking Camino, if I'm going for dinner after the long day of walk, or even if I'm taking a shower. A waist bag with things that I want to keep with me for security reason, but also that I want to access really fast and easily, like my phone, my cash, my pilgrim credential, my journal, my Camino journal to jot down my thoughts and my passport. And all of these, except for my phone, are in this plastic bag, so they don't get damaged in, um, in case of rain. I have my undies, my seamless undies, and I love these because they are really comfortable and they get dry two hours the most. I have the merino wool socks, and I use the running socks. They are thinner than uh, normal. They prevent uh, blisters as well as smell. Then I have a sport bra, simple sport bra, a merino wool t-shirt. What I like about this t-shirt is that the fabric, really soft, it fits right because if it's cold, it brings the temperature up and if it's really warm, it brings the temperature of your body down. Also, I sweat a lot. With this, I don't smell that much. <laughs> Then I have my zip hiking pants. They are really come in handy because with this pair I can take only one instead of taking two pairs. First of all, because if it's winter, if it's cold, you can take full pants. Otherwise you can unzip it and you have a short. And it really comes in handy. If, for example, you have to go in church and you are wearing the short, you can just put it on and you have a long pants again and you can go into the church. You don't have to get changed. This is my new ultralight backpack. It's only 590 grams, which is 900 grams less than what I had last year. It's 40 liters, although I will never use 40 liters, but it was the smallest they have with a frame. And I really need that support for my back. It has Padded shoulder straps, also the hip belt is really padded and really comfortable. And it's water resistant, although they still recommend to put your clothes and all your things in a dry bag inside, just in case you are hit by heavy, heavy rains. Here in the front, I like because it has a net. So here I can put anything, either anything I can access really quickly or wet clothes. They didn't dry yet, so I put them here and they can dry while I'm walking. Here, there are some extra stra strings and I can put my hiking poles if I'm not gonna use them. It has two places, two bags here on the side to put your water bottle, so plenty of space or your snacks, whatever. And also what is good is that you can adjust easily your torso length. This is what I'm taking clothing wise. First of all, underwear, two extras with a total of three of the three underwear. An extra pair of merino wool socks. So in total, I take two pairs. And then I have my, an extra bra, sport bra for when I go to the albergues and I want to get changed. So I'm taking two extra merino wool shirts one long sleeves and one short sleeves. They dry quick and they are, they don't smell that much. Then this is just me, but I have an extra shirt, a cotton shirt, extra t-shirt. And this is instead of my hair dryer. I do air plopping with this so I can get my hair done and they can get dried faster and I don't get a stiff neck. Then I take one pair of leggings. These are just for when I get to albergues, after I take a shower, I put this on. 
and I use them as a pyjama or to go out to have dinner. It's really good if you want to put something extra. I like this. Usually I use them if I go running and I put my keys. Then the down feather jacket. I like this because it's really compact and it's foldable. So it's really nice. And once you take it out, you have a really nice feather jacket. I forgot about the booth. So this is a merino wool booth and it's really good to have this extra layer on the neck and um, if it's windy, if it's cold, you can put it until the nose or you can use it as a hair bandana or if it's really cold, you can put it in a fountain and wrap it around your neck. Yeah. These are all my clothes. The hat is also a must, especially when it's getting hot in summer. So um, apart from putting your sunscreen on, just wear a hat. It can be a baseball hat, simple baseball hat, or like the one that Ricky has, that he covers all the neck and the ears, or one with a large brim, whatever you prefer. These are all my toiletries, first aid kit and some extras. First of all, I have 100% natural soap that I can use for my hair, for my body, for the laundry. And uh, I don't really need all of this. I can split it in two and use it for a month of walking. For my hair, I have a product that I can disentangle my rebel curly hair and I can style it a little bit with a, with a brush. Then I have deodorant and here, this is not a strawberry yogurt from Land, from the brand Land. It's just that I love the packages. It's really lightweight and I put inside the, um, the sun protection, sunscreen, and I don't need a big package. So I just need this and when it's over, I just throw it away. Then I have toothbrush, toothpaste, razor, lip balm. Then some extras that I have are nail clippers, hair clip, tweezers, mirror, the hairband, doggy bag. They are really lightweight, compact, and it's good if you're out walking and nature cold. Kins, my night guards. I cannot even sleep without the earplugs, so please take them with you, don't forget them. Otherwise, you can just pick them up at a, any pharmacy in Spain. Then my first aid kit is really reducted this year. They're really minimalistic. Uh, I'm only taking a um, hay fever spray and probiotics. The reason why I'm reducing a lot my first aid is because I always took a lot of things and when I needed something, I had to go to the pharmacy because I didn't have it. So I just figured out this is what I'm gonna do. I just take what I know that I'm gonna need. Really good if you have health insurance because it can save you a lot of money and it can get you a better medical health care if you are in Spain and in trouble. So check in the description what we recommend. Then I have a really compact towel for showers and I love it because as you see it's really compact and it dries really quick this actually this cover is actually from Ricky because I lost mine but it's huge I can use it all around my body hiking poles these are also a piece of equipment that I like to to use during my Camino and uh, I don't travel with this from home because I only go with carry-on baggage so it's not allowed. Usually I either buy them at the starting point or I ask at albergues if they have spare ones if some pilgrim left them behind or they finished their Camino there and uh, left their hiking poles. I have this from Decathlon, they are really basics, but you can find different ones from aluminium, 
carbon fiber, carbon fiber, whatever, for every pocket. If you're working on tarmac or on the squares in the village cities, consider using the, the cap that they sell you with the stick because it doesn't make a lot of noise and it actually doesn't damage neither this, the part, the ending of the pole, nor the street. So these are all my extras, although essentials, because I have a rain ponchos, which I prefer over a rain jacket, which I used in the past, because it's just easier to use. If it starts raining suddenly, you pick it up from the backpack and you just throw it on you in the backpack. And it's really easy to use, cost effective, it's really cheap compared to a good rain jacket and you don't sweat a lot because you have a lot of ventilation. So I really prefer the rain poncho. Then I have a sleeping liner, which is more compact and lighter than a um, sleeping bag. It's so, this is only three, 380 grams, so pretty good. These are really essential for me. As soon as I get in the uh, albergue and I take a shower, I always stretch with the elastic band. If, uh, if it's my shoulders, if it's my, my arm strings, if it's my leg, I use it for stretching. And this I, look, I use it for massage. I can massage my back if I have any tension, I just lay on top of it and I massage one point and I have some tension. Or I can use it for my feet. If I had a really long day walking and I want a nice massage, I just do this with my foot and it's really pleasant. A lot of people suffer with plantar fasciitis and it's really good also in these cases. Then I have a headlamp. Uh, so if you are going out early in the morning and people are still sleeping, you can use the red light so you, don't, you are not blinding people, you are not waking them up. Or if you are walking outside and it's still dark and you don't know if it's mountain and you don't see where you're going, you can use the white light. The phone charger, of course, and this is the plugs for Spain, so make sure you have this or a universal standard adapter for Spain. And then I have an ultralight power bank because I really want to have my phone charged just in case of emergency. You never know what can happen and your phone needs to be charged at all times. Speaking about emergency, what I recommend is also a whistle. Emergency wise, a whistle is a must, especially for solo travelers, because you never know what can happen and you need to call attention of someone. You can attach it to your uh, chest strap and use it in case of emergency. If you fall, it just one whistle away. And I have my earphones. I don't use earphones when I'm walking because I just like to be present in nature and I like to feel the pain, not to run away from it. When I go to Alberg and I want to listen to a music, I want to watch a video, I use earphones so you don't bother other pilgrims. Then for food, food and drinks, a bottle of water. One liter, one liter and a half is good because you always find a bar a water fountain. If you have longer stretch, okay, you can get an extra bottle of water if you know that you're not gonna find any bar. And a Tupperware for, uh, for food. If you prepare your own food and take it with you, at least you have somewhere to put it on and you can have a variation of like salads or whatever. These magical things, a spork, which has a spoon, a fork, a knife, a bottle opener, and all this funky stuff that I don't know what I need them for. Last but not least, shoes. I didn't forget about them. These are the flip-flops I wear as soon as I get to albergues. I take a shower with them, I go out for dinner. So pretty much compact, lightweight, and they fit everywhere. And my trail running shoes. If you want to know more about these shoes, just watch this video.